Hello again, today I'd like to present to you the uh, Barnes & Noble leather-bound edition of Hans Christian Andersen's classic fairy tales. I made a review a couple of weeks back about uh, the Carla edition uh, that only contained a few of uh, the stories by Hans Christian Andersen. This one is the complete uh, classic fairy tales. I went with the older of the two available Barnes & Noble's editions uh, for a couple of reasons. First of all, this one's purple and it sits nicely on the shelf with the, all the other colours there. Um, I thought it was a, a nice um, throw back to the other side of the TV here where I've got uh, the Everyman's Children's Classics um, uh, collection, or library. A um, couple more things that I really like about this edition is the uh, fact that you get Thumbelina on the front, uh, which to me is more representative of Hans Christian Andersen than the Clockwork Night Nightingale, um, just just because I I grew up with um, uh, Thumbelina, and uh, well, I didn't personally grow up with Thumbelina. You know what I mean. Uh, Thumbelina was one of the stories I knew well when I was a kid, um, whereas the uh, Clockwork Nightingale less so. I guess I get, got to know that one a little bit later. I really, really like the detail on this cover as well. On the other cover, the detail feels a little bit more uh, precise, a little bit more computer-generated maybe, uh, a bit more copy and paste, you know, um, um, whereas here it really does feel hand handcrafted. Um, the uh, uh, the symmetry is almost exact, but but just uh, not so exact that um, that it makes you feel like it's um, like it's artificial, you know. Okay, you can see the little details here, which are really lovely. Little frog here and the peas, flowers. Detail here is gold, and the um, classic fairy tales is written in silver. This is what you get on the spine. It's a very nice glossy um, aubergine, uh, purple leather. And on the back is very similar to what you get on the front, just with this um, bird's nest detail and this central branch. Really, really beautiful cover. There we are. Uh, what do you get inside? Inside you get a, a nice uh, inside of the front cover. And um, full full contents. I will um, hold the camera still so that you can check that the stories that you're after do indeed feature here. But since they are the complete stories, you should really find what you need. and then a list of illustrations. Now the illustrations in the Carlo edition were by Edmund Dulac, but over here they're by Dougal Stewart uh, Walker and Hans Tegner. I don't know either of these illustrators. I discovered them with this book. And um, they are, they're, they're great. They, they really are very, very beautiful. Um, you can really tell the difference between the two, uh, the two illustrators. Um, maybe I've not picked up the, the most dense area of the book to show you the illustrations. Um, so some of the illustrations are just very figurative, like, like these. Clearly an accomplished black and white illustrator. Um, Illustrations from Thumbelina. And you also have this, the, the other illustrator. I, I'm afraid I don't know which one is which. Um, this other illustrator who um, has this very different style, very, very intricate 
lots and lots of patterns and details. really beautiful and in the black and white um, panels full page panels you can really really see that that precision that detail um, but unfortunately so yeah there's another one of those black and white full page panels but unfortunately the um the the color panels are well, very very beautiful um the color the color panels do seem to be just a little less precise. It feels like they're almost blurred. I guess it's the um, the printing techniques of the time which were just not quite as precise as as they are nowadays um, nevertheless ha having spent some time with these color illustrations trying to work out whether I like them or not I, I they are really are very beautiful I like the the patterns the um, the illustrator clearly worked with um, with the colors from from a yeah from a pattern perspective uh, as uh, there's an almost wallpaper um, William Morris maybe feel about how they are thought out but do you see the the contrast between how how um how sharp the 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 characters down here are uh, compared to how not quite so sharp the 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 drawing is just above it anyway so personally given the choice i'd prefer raymond dulac's uh color illustrations but he only illust illustrated a handful of the stories so that's just not really good enough uh whereas here you get uh, you get you get a lot of illustrations uh, all the way through. Um, although we're not necessarily hitting all of them right now, um, but um, it's it it does make for very pleasant reading. And children listening to the stories who like illustrations should be thrilled. So there it is. Um, I'll show you the last page. You do get a an end page here uh, just to say the end which is very beautiful there we are and then as usual just the same design on the out, on the back cover as there is on the front so that's it that's it uh, for this review the Hans Christian Andersen classic fairy tales um, by Barnes and Noble. I hope you liked the review. Do click on like or subscribe or both <laughs> uh, and I will see you soon.